quest. I hope that you had an awesome time with technology and now I'm ready to dive into our lesson. So I'm going to try to go as quickly as possible. I know what you're wondering. What is that wall, Mrs. Bond? Is it in our classroom? No, that's at our house. Mr. Bond and I painted that wall, so mystery solved. Anyway, today you are going to be learning to find the expanded form or write decimals in expanded form. And the way we're going to go about learning that is kind of pretty fun. So take a look at your math message. I believe ooh, it's lesson three, two, your math message. I believe it's on page 107. I don't have it in front of my face. So find it till your page looks like this. A Fido the flea is hopping along a number line to explore new destinations. Fido always starts at zero, home, and faces in the positive direction. Fido is at zero home on the number line. Fido is heading for the flea flag shop at 24 hundredths on the number line. Three possible hop combinations to get there. Hops at one. Two hops at one tenth or ten hundredths long. And then four hops at one hundredth long. Hops at two. One hop at one tenth long. And then 14 hops at one hundredth long. And hops at three. 24 hops at one hundredth long. Hops at one is drawn for you. Draw the other two on screen too. Okay. Or in your book on the bottom of the page. So let's look at how they did this though. So we've got zero. There's Fido. He hops to one tenth point one zero. We could also call that ten hundredths. He hops to two tenths. And then he hops one one hundredth at a time. And at twenty one hundredths, twenty two hundredths, twenty three hundredths, twenty four hundredths until he gets to 24 hundredths. I want to point out to you real quickly, we kind of talked about this yesterday a little bit, that if you have 0.1 or 1 hundredth, it is the same thing as 10, I'm sorry, 1 tenth is the same thing as 10 hundredths. Okay, same, same size piece of cake. Um, I'm pretty sure the reason why they did it this way is to show you that the way that you're going to make these hops is you're going to have to count by 1 hundredths. So here, this little tick mark would actually be 1 one hundredth or 0 0.01. And then they're walking all the way up until we get to 0.10 or 10 hundredths. So let's go on to the next one. Now we're going to have to remember one hop at 1 tenth long and then 14 hops at 1 one hundredth long. So get at your page. We are going to draw them together. So we said one hop, with, whoops. Hello. Try it. Oh, there we go, Fido. One hop for Fido. And then four. Oh, I was trying to remember. Look there right there. 14 hops that are one one hundred. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. By the way, I'm using my Mac, not my stylus, so that's where my little jumps look a, bit, a little bit ridiculous. Okay, we still get to 2400. Same thing. All right, I'm not going to count out loud, but you guys can work this with me. We're counting one one hundredth at a time. There's 10 one hundredths, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Okay. 24 hundredths. We get to the same, same place. Now, what does this have to do with expanded form? Let's move on. Write a number sentence to represent each hop set. The first one's done for you. So this one showed us we did two jumps at one one hundredth, then four, oh, I think they wrote that wrong. Yeah, I'd call that they wrote that wrong. It should be two times. If I'm wrong, please discuss amongst yourselves. I think they wrote that wrong. It should be two times one tenth, okay, and then in expanded form, plus we do four times one hundredth, which gives us point zero four 
and if you were to add those together, you have 0.24. So our next one, I think probably I can actually write this better in text. Our next one, we've got in parentheses, one hop times one tenth, remember we took one bigger jump, plus 14 hops at your smaller jumps of one one hundredth, and that gives us then 24 one hundredths. If we go here, oh, that text is like so much better. Remember we had zero big hops, and Fido just takes all these little hops. So that expanded form, we would write it as 0 0.01, or, oops, forgot my parentheses, one one hundredth times, not eight, times 24, because there's 24 of them, okay? Describe how the three hop sets are similar and how they differ. Well, I'm not gonna take a long time to go through that, but I think it's obvious that every hop step does make, hop set makes jumps. They're all in a positive direction. They all are going by one unit, so one one hundredth or one tenth. Okay, and obviously they just mix and match the different the different ones of how far they go to time. Let's move on. Wait a minute. Oh, you just did that. That is the math message. Um. Hold on. Sorry, friends. It's like normal, normal life. I'm not sure why there's duplicates there or triplets. Okay, let's go into the next page. I'll do part of this with you, and then um, after that, it will be your, oh my word, your must-dos. Okay, let's do this one together. Fido goes to his, oh, did I mess that up? Was that one that we should have done? No, I don't think so. Sorry, here's the truth. I left my book at home, so I have to flip from website to website to see each thing ahead of time. Okay, Fido goes to his friend Flip's house to show him what he bought at the flea flag shop. The lengths of Fido's hops are always one tenth, one hundredth, or one one thousandth. One thousandth. Fido starts at zero. Flip's house is at twelve hundredths. Hop set one takes a total of 12 hops to get to 12 hundredths. All right, well, if we're taking 12 hops to 12 hundredths, what are we gonna have to do? Yep, you guessed it. We're gonna have to take a little hops, 12 hops of one one hundredth. Ooh, you know what though? We probably wouldn't have had to. We could have gone to thousands. Wait, that'll work though. 12 hops will get us to 12 hundredths. Hop set two, show these two hop sets on the number lines, takes a total of three hops to get to um, 12 hundredths. But his hops are always one tenth, one hundredth, or one thousandth. So if he takes three, he's probably taking one giant and then one, two. So a total of three still gets us to. 12 hundredths. Perfect. You guys are so awesome. Now, this is the part that we have to, that we're trying to focus on today, is if you're writing it in expanded form, think of it this way. How many hops are you taking and how big was your hop? So in that first one, we said we took 12 hops. Get my pencil. Hear me again. How many hops are you taking and how, times how big were the hops? So our first one, we took 12 hops, and they were each one one hundredth long, okay? Our second one for an expanded form, we took one hop that was the distance of one tenth, okay? And then plus, we took two hops, those are supposed to be parentheses, by the way, that were the distance of one one hundredth. So now we've got one times one tenth, which would be one tenth, 
plus 2 times 1 hundredth, which would be 2 hundredths, add them together gives you 12 hundredths. Make sure you're writing this down in your book, all of you. Fido and Flip and Fido hear about a new Flea Fun House opening at 804 thousandths on the number line. Fido uses place value to efficiently, I'm itchy, I think it's the flea talk. Fido uses place value to efficiently hop from 0 to 0 0.804 or 804 thousandths. He begins with long hops first. Describe Fido's hop set. Okay. He uses place value to hop efficiently. Think of it like this. If we were going to make big hops, he makes his long hops first. He might hop um, eight times his with one tenth for each hop, right? And it's kind of like we're doing our place value if you're doing expanded form. Plus, he might hop, well, zero. We don't need to include that. So then over here, four hops times one thousandth. So there we go. Okay, so eight times one tenth plus four times one thousandth. Really, that could go right here. Oh, Mrs. Bond, it's getting late, switching. This would be your number sentence. If I were going to describe his half step, he would make one hop or eight hops at one tenth and then four little tiny tops at one one thousand. My children are, are watching me, two of them. Okay. Well, friends, it is time for you to. Hmm, you can answer this one on your own. Write a number sentence that reverses. Pretend you went the short ones first and then you went the big ones. Okay. Um, but I'm going to stop here because I've also found that my YouTube video of my last one was too long and it wouldn't upload to YouTube and I had to cut it. So I'm going to finish this up. Anyway, I believe that you need to finish this, then go on to your must-dos and may-dos that will be listed on the board by your tech people. And then I want to let you know just up front, tomorrow your lesson is about adding decimals. And I'm not recording a separate video because you should know how to do it from last year. And my only piece of advice that you can remind each other tomorrow is when you add decimals, you have got to... <sighs> my children. You've got to line them up. So if you were doing this, okay, you're going to line them up. Your decimals right here, so make sure they're lined up. Okay, that's all for today. I hope you guys are really, really awesome for Mr. Hale. I know you will be, and work hard. I will see you soon. Bye. <laughs> Joshua, thank you.